Everyone will be happier this way. Hey, Earth. You know staring at the sun can cause permanent vision loss, right? Um, yeah. Wait, that also applies to planets? Let's not find that out. Anyways, Mercury's preparing something. Are you? Yes, I'm... I'm good. Let's do this. You've spent too much time outside your orbit, Mercury! When are hey, you- the Earth needs a friend now. You know, after that whole- Yes, yes, I was there! He was aiming at me, if you remember correctly! I remember. Anyways, my plan is to remind the Earth how special he is. But wasn't the root of the problem that the Earth was arrogant? Well, yes. But I'll remind him in a way that humbles him. Somehow. Okay? Well, good luck! What's all this? Oh, welcome to my room of self-improvement! Here, we can openly discuss our flaws and work to become better planets! Or moons! Okay. Are you all gonna stare at me, or...? Right! Ahem. Stage one! Earth! Let's not sugarcoat it. You have been a bully. To your friends and to the moons equally. Yes, I know. Yeah. So, any thoughts? Uh-huh. Uh, can you tell us about them out loud? Have you ever wanted something really, really bad? You're talking about having the conditions to sustain life. Right? Yes. The dream of every planet. Everyone thought it was impossible for so long. So I put time and effort and sweat and tears in to make it work. And then, the dinosaurs happened. Do you want to talk about that? Nah, I'm not ready to open that can of worms. But yeah, after that whole mess, I really went on the grind. Kept myself in the Goldilocks zone. Rotated with absolute care and... And I did it! I had life! Intelligent life! And then, it started to hurt. I see. So you don't actually like having Earthlings then? The worst part is that I do like it! I put up with them, deal with their messes! I guess I just expected them to be a little grateful. Well, some are grateful, I guess. But some are selfish. And others are just plain evil and... I don't know. It takes a toll on you, you know? You feel so proud, and so ashamed of them, all at the same time. Hmm, I see. Well, I guess it's time for stage two, role-playing! I'm all Earthlings now! Ho ho, we can barely live for a century, but we're the most important thing in the universe! What do you want to say to us? I don't want to do this. Yeah, this is weird. Come on, role-play with me! I represent all of Balkind. Speak up! I'm growing tired of you. Uh, are you talking to me or You to... are alive because of me. And if I get off my orbit or get struck by a meteorite or if you start a nuclear war, none of you will be left! You think you're killing the Earth? <laughs> all you can do is cause me pain. You, on the other hand, you're one step away from extinction. Uh, well, you make some good points, Mr. Earth. I want you guys to venture into the stars and expand, and to be a good presence in the universe. I want you to go to other planets and make them better, not use them until you're done with them and toss them aside. Some of the things you do make me want to give up and start over. But I still have hope, even just a little. I really do. You know what? I actually feel better. Thank you for this. Maybe I should- Wait, not just yet. Don't rush this. Sorry. Now comes stage three. Your methods are really strange, Mercury. Up, up, up. Don't get ahead of yourself. Now, introduce yourself to the planets. Hello? I'm the Earth. You know, it breaks the immersion if no one talks back Use and... your imagination! 
Okay, now tell everybody what makes you special. Mercury, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Go on, Earth. I... <clears throat> I am the Earth. And I am special because in this harsh and chaotic universe, I... I can sustain life. I'm sorry if I sound arrogant. Don't apologize. Just continue. I also have water, which is quite rare. I also have tons of biomes like deserts, forests, snowy mountains. I guess that's about it. Okay, not bad. Now tell each planet what makes them special. Uh, Mercury, the thing is, I'm the only one that has life. So? You think that's the only thing that makes a planet special? Come on, give it a try. Well, I mean, you are pretty fast, Mercury. The fastest planet. I can spin around the sun in 88 days. And Venus is the hottest planet, right? Yup. Even if I'm closer to the sun, he's got me beat in that area. And Mars may not have life, but he has tons of great conditions for it. His days also last around 24 hours. He has seasons because of his tilt. No wonder you guys are friends. Jupiter is super massive. He has a storm that's like bigger than me. Really? Yes, really. And Saturn, like have you seen those rings? And Uranus is tilted almost 90 degrees from his orbit. And a year on Neptune lasts more than an Earthling's lifetime Earth. and I think you know where I was going with this by now. What makes us different is what makes us special. I was gonna say planets are cool, but that's that that's way better. Okay, uh, I think we're ready no. for. No, there's more. My life, the life I have on my surface. It was never only me, it was all of you. What do you mean? The planet's orbits, the balance of the solar system, it, it's why I have life. Without the light of the sun, life would be impossible. Without planets like Jupiter, I'd be bombarded by meteorites day and night. And without you, Moon? I mean, you've been key to life all along, and I've just looked down on you. It's... it's okay, Earth. No, it's not. Thank you guys. I... I was about to do something stupid, and you... And you didn't. And everyone will be happier for it. I see that now. I guess it's time to apologize to Mars and Venus. Mars? Venus? Uh... Guys?